Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to achieve this gradient circle look. So I've done this gradient circle look in the past for my Animotion videos including my intro title and also the background for my stretch and squash tutorial and someone actually asked me how did I achieve this look so I've actually done a gradient tutorial in the past but in that tutorial I didn't really show you how to achieve this kind of like dreamy looking gradient circle so I'm just gonna show you quickly in today's tutorial so I have my circle and I have my colors and I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. The first one is using the full color gradient and the second one is using a couple layers of solid with mask on it. The quickest way is to use the full color gradient. So if you tap in gradient on effects and presets, look for full color gradient drop that into your circle and then basically I'm just gonna choose the colors that I have on my color palette and since I only have three colors here so I'm just gonna repeat the pink color and usually in order for this to work you want to choose one color that's brighter than the others you can use white or like any colors that's close to white and in this instance I use this kind of like light green color and then you just want to move the pointers close to the circle, so like that. Or you can also do it on the screen and just like drag that along like that. And yeah, you can just like move it around. As soon as you finish the color gradient, if you move the circle, the color gradient changes. That is because the color gradient doesn't actually apply and set to your circle. It applies to the whole composition size. So what you want to do is to pre-comp the circle, so right click, pre-compose, and then we're going to call it circle 01. And then go inside that circle 01 pre-comp, and we're going to cut the composition size by using this icon, region of interest. So just drag that, doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it's small enough but also include the whole circle. And then go to composition. And then crop comb to region and interest. Now as soon as I do that, the position of the pointers actually changes. So you just want to adjust that again. For the lightest color, or I usually call it the highlight, usually I would put the pointers inside of the circle so that it kind of like enhance that highlight look. Now let's go back to the root comb. Now if you move the circle around, obviously the color doesn't change and that's what we want. Now I'm going to move this to the side and I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm just going to change the color to orange and the other one to purple just so that we can differentiate it. So I'm going to move the second circle to there. On the second circle, I'm going to show you the other technique to achieve this gradient look on the circle. So I'm just gonna right click on that layer, reveal, reveal layer source in project. And then I'm gonna put that in under precoms folder. And then I'm gonna duplicate that and then basically drag that layer by holding Alt and Shift, drag that onto your orange layer. Now let's go inside this circle of two and I'm gonna delete the full color gradient. Now let's create a solid, so new solid. Just hit OK and then also go to your project and I'm gonna import my color for a guide. Now since I've already chosen this um, turquoise color so I'm just gonna go ahead with it. So just create a mask on the solid. I'm just gonna create it like that and then look for set matte on your effects and presets. Drop that onto your solid and then select the take matte layer from circle now hit f on your color solid layer and then just add your feather and then i'm gonna duplicate this solid and then hit ctrl shift y to change the color i'm gonna change it to this orange color 
And for this circle, I'm gonna change the color to this pink color for the base color. And then since we want the light green to be the highlight, so I'm gonna just change the mask shape. And I'm gonna adjust the orange shape as well. So by doing this technique, you have more control on like how you want each color to look like and also like the amount of the feather that you want and also you can also animate the color individually by using the turbulent displays so just drop that onto one of them see as soon as i drop down the turbulent displays the shape is distorted in order to fix that just put your set mat under the turbulent displays now we want to animate the evolution so hold alt and then click on the stopwatch icon and then type in time asterisk and a number i would type in 200 for this so as you can see that the orange color is animated you can always adjust the amount and like the size and now i'm just going to copy the turbulent displays and paste it on the green layer and again put the set mat under the turbulent displays i'm just going to adjust the amount and also the shape. Now let's go back to the main comp. I'll turn off this color and we'll see the difference between the two. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. And also feel free to follow my Instagram because every Friday I would repost your work if you did it by following one of my tutorials. And don't forget to use the hashtag hash high animation. I've put my Instagram link in the description below as well. Thank you.